Hi folks, my name is Wade Rush. I am a Christian patriot, a music minister, a husband and father. Around here, we are hunters, we are fishermen. We love to shoot, we love to play hard. We work the land efficiently, and we also try to effectively recycle all of the resources that God has given us. And as part of my ministry, I share all that I have learned with those who are interested. Christian values and hard work made this country great and it made us blessed. Christian values and hard work are not a lifestyle, but a way of life. This is what we believe. This is the code that we live by. This is Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Turn them loose. Just heard them on the radio. Get ready. What are you talking about? Hey guys, Wade Rush, Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Uh, there was some. Uh, there have been some questions. I've received some questions about just how accurate can the uh, lead drive key slugs be? Um, if you haven't seen my original video that I did on loading and shooting them, we actually shot them at about 50 meters or so. I'm gonna put a link right here in the video so that you can see the uh, the original video. We've backed up here to 100 yards. I had a question of, uh, could you even hit a human-sized silhouette at, um, at 100 yards with the lead drive key slug? Well, I think my slugs are pretty accurate that we've uh, come up with, and we're gonna be shooting the uh, Beretta AL390 and the old H70, both with the rifle choke tubes. We're gonna get set up for this 100-yard shot. We'll be right back, guys. All right, folks, Thomas and I have been working on enamel coating some of these lead drive key slugs and we have not experimented with them. You're gonna find out right along with us. We, uh, we use the white enamel coat on the 7 8 ounce to, uh, to try to make it a little more visible on video as we shoot it down range. We're gonna be zoomed up, shooting 60 frames per second in super high def to try to catch these slugs in, uh, in slow motion as they go down range just to see how they track and how they fly to this B, uh, was a B27 target. Yes, yeah, B27. And a full size torso target. So uh, we're gonna get set up for the shots here on the sandbags, guys, and Thomas and Josh are gonna be doing the shots. And uh, well, let's find out together what happens, guys. Let's see how accurate these slugs can be at, at 100 meters at a torso-sized target. Be right back with the shots. All right, Jake is trying to get comfortable with this. We're gonna shoot the 870 first. I got my 25-inch barrel. I've got True Glow adjustment, uh, adjustable sights. That is the Remington rifle choke tube. On the AL390, that is the Hastings rifle choke tube, and we've got the True Glow um, rifle sights on the AL390. All right, we're gonna get set up for the shots and uh, and bring them to you guys. Hold on. Everybody good? Yeah, we're good to go, bro. All right. First shot's a seven eighths ounce with 23 grains of green dot. Should be moving at about 1,200 foot per second, what I call one of my slow slugs. Jake, it looked like you hit center mass right. A little right? Yeah, it uh, looked like it hit center mass almost in the eight ring. If I, if I saw it right, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to get closer to check it. Maybe the camera picked it up better than I did. Second shot. Second shot is one ounce with 23 grains of green dot. Right. I see it hitting the dirt behind the target, but it's hard in that black center to tell. All right, we're gonna ease down there, guys, and see exactly where we did hit it. Now we got a tar we got a camera set up running down there at the target. That'll all pick it up pretty good. So we'll meet you at the target. Well, folks, we went down there and checked. And like I said, you're finding out when we find out. That's going to be the wrong one, probably. The, uh, the elevation was perfect. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, dead even with the bullseye, but the uh, windage is still way off at 100 yards. It's still shooting, oh, a foot and a half right at 100 yards. No, they were, it was smaller and they're yeah, probably it's metric, good. Jake. Well, yeah. so we're gonna have to find the right size Allen wrenches, guys, and we'll get back to you. All right, guys, I went to the house and got my little True Glow kit. And uh, you, can, you can look and see how far off center that is. It's moved as far left as I can move it now, guys. So for the windage, so we moved it left. It was, uh, it, it moved a little bit further. So uh, Thomas is gonna pop off another one ounce. All right, bud, whenever you're ready. Like you hit center mass. Look like you hit center mass. Look dead center mass to me, guys. I could with the uh, with the light, I could see the slug track pretty good on this Sony high def at the 60 frames per second. About a three four inch drop, but I hit the eight. Look at that. So. That's a heck of a shot there, Bubba. That is 100 meters off. Oh, well, we're shooting off sandbags, but his hold was oh, right here. On, and that's my slow <laughs> slugs. Yeah, that's my slow slugs, guys. That's slow slug. Only dropped five inches. So five inch drop at 100 meters. You aim about where I think, uh, yeah, I think, he hold, I think you hold where he hit, and you're going to be dead center mass. Yeah, because I was holding about here. All right. So, well, we know where that is. We'll stick a stick of yeah. something in there. We we know where we're hitting now, guys. Let's go back and put in a few and have some fun. We'll be right back. All right, guys. What we're going to do is we think we got our windage adjusted. Thomas is going to shoot a three-shot group of our zombie blood red enamel coated one ounce with the 23 grains of green dye. We chronoed them. I don't think you ever saw the video, but we did. We chronoed a bunch of these with the 23 grains of green dye, and they were averaging 12 to 1300 foot per second. So that's what I call my slow slugs. And uh, he's gonna shoot a three shot group now that we think we got it dialed in. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. All right, hot dog, whenever you're ready, give us a three shot group. What did it look like it hit, Josh? All I saw was dust, Maybe a little but it looks like it hit him in the shoulder right there. Okay, he yeah, he thinks, Thomas thinks he may have threw that one a little right. Right there, hit the eight line. Yep, that was, that was dead center mass. I didn't see that one. All right, guys, let's go check the impact of that three-shot group Actually, and see how we did here at 100 meters with them uh, one-ounce slugs. What did it look like it hit, Josh? All I saw was dust. Like, maybe a little. But right. it looks like it hit him in the shoulder right there. Oh, okay, see the hole? yeah, he thinks, Thomas thinks he may have threw that one a little right. Right there, hit the eight line. Yep, that was, that was dead center mass. I didn't see that one. All right, guys, let's go check the impact of that three-shot group. Actually, and see how we did here at a hundred meters with look, a one-ounce slug. Safety glass. <laughs> well, okay. So, yeah, dead and dead. <laughs> oh yeah, that's dead. <laughs> Hit here, and we got one in the eight ring and one in the nine ring. All right, Josh has got them all covered up. We're gonna shoot a three shot group with the seven eighths ounce with the 23 grains of uh, green dot and out of the 870 and we'll see how they group or, or what kind of three shot group we get with those at 100 meters. Be right back guys. We got them enamel coated white. Some of them kind of come out pink. Yeah, Thomas is showing you. Hopefully that'll pick up pretty good on this uh, super high def camera as they go down range. Three shot group, they also got 23 grains of green dot. All of these have the PT-1205 wide, nothing but the PT-1205 7 8 ounce ballistic product wide. Everybody good? Yeah, we're good, yeah. ready to roll. 
Was eight. that center mass, Josh, or could you tell? It's straight across from the bullseye at eight. Okay. Straight across from the bullseye? Yep. Right or left? Dog it. Right. Okay. It hit left somewhere. Okay, guys, we had one flyer. Thomas, was, where was the other ones? We had one flyer went they here. This was first shot, so that, that was That first second. shot was right on the 7-8 ring. That's the last one was shot. right on the 9-8 ring, center mass. So we had a total miss on this one, but the other two... No, that's this one here. Yeah, they had a total miss on this one, and the other other two hit center mass here and here that with a 7-8 ounce. That must have been the watt I was seeing going. Well. It, it seems that the one ounce are a little more accurate. Uh, Seven eighths ounce have a tendency to maybe fly a little bit more erratic, or that could be because of the powder that we're using. I think the seven eighths may do a little bit better if you make them a little bit hotter. All right, we're gonna move on to the AL three ninety with a with some one ounce and uh, with the lighter slugs, and then we're gonna move on to some real fast stuff, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, here's this PT twelve oh five wad. We found it. We're at about halfway in between, at about fifty meters. When it comes out, this is uh, the power piston pushing. It is in excellent shape and it, it sheds the pedals as it comes out of the barrel. There's four pedals that are perforated on the bottom and up the sides. They shed when it comes out the end of the barrel and they fly straight, guys. They surely do. I'll hang on to this and give you a closer look at it later. Josh has got a three shot group of one ounce, enamel coated one ounce with the uh, Beretta AL390. And that one's got that long Hastings rifle choke tube on it. That is one bad mamba jambo there, guys. All right, we're gonna get lined up for the shots. All right, we're gonna shoot a three shot group here with the AL390. Gonna kind of check that first shot. Josh is gonna try to make sure he's got his wind is right. Tell me when you're ready. Anytime, Bubba. <laughs> Couldn't tell? Couldn't tell. All right, let's go down there and see where it hit. It looked to me like it was almost dead center. That's tough to tell. Look at that where Josh hit the first shot, guys. That's uh, that's in the 10 ring. That's off a of, uh, sandbag rest, 100 meters. All right, we're gonna go shoot the other two and see if he can put them right there close. All right, guys, as you saw, we hit, hit Josh, put it in a 10 ring, first shot, so let's, uh, he's gonna try to hold the exact same spot for the last two shots. Anytime you're ready, hot dog. Center mass? Right at the uh, eight ring. All right. Right at the edge of the eight ring. One. And right at the neck. All right. Center mass? Right at the uh, eight ring. All right. Right at the edge of the eight ring. One. And right at the neck. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, right nine. Oh yeah. Put another one in the nine, and then it, he ain't happy. That's a you blew his collarbone. That's up. a bad day. Be hit with a one ounce slug going 1300 foot per second. Okay. All right, all right, guys. Josh is shooting uh, in the last of our slow slug shots. We've got 25 of Herco, seven eighths ounce. These were chronoed at about 1300 foot per second. All right, and these aren't coated. Um, they're just uh, treated with ALOX. All are in the BP um, wide uh, PT1205, the 7 8 ounce. Both the 1 ounce and the 7 8 ounce slugs are all in that PT1205 wide. Fits in there really good. All right, let's see how shot, uh, Josh does on these three shots here. All right, three shot, 7 8 ounce, Lee Drive Key slug, PT1205 wide, 25 grains of Herco powder. 
they were coming out at about 1300 foot per second. Just give me the okay. All right, bud, whenever you're ready. Right. Couldn't tell. Almost looked high. Oh, that thing was flying. Yeah, it almost looked high. Probably just hold right where you want to hit. All right. Whew, yeah, boy, that's that high. Fun. It's hit just right at the neck, Josh, like your last shot. I'm going to aim low then. Yeah, just aim center mass. I just aim center mass. Okay. That Todd Herco is powerful. All right, you shot. You hit right at the edge of the 8 and 9 at the bottom. Great day. I and think. I was aiming a little center mass. It hit well, right about Herco here. Was, Herco was hitting right on. Yeah. Hey, what would you say, Jake? We were saying that we could smell that Herco powder. So it smells like pain, like death. I like it. <laughs> well, guys, Thomas was fixing to leave for two weeks of advanced training up in uh, North Carolina for his uh, for his uh, job. We can't talk too much about, but uh, we're gonna miss him while he's gone. But he'll come back to us in a couple of weeks after he's done with all that training. Be about twelve days. All right. Okay. Yeah, it hit high. So oh gosh, you ripped his face off, Josh. <laughs> I thought it did hit high, but I couldn't tell where. Oh, yeah, it. ripped his face off right there. Another one here, and then he right. hit there. They're all, uh, that's a very bad day. Very bad day. That was with the 7 8 ounce with the uh, 25 grains of Herco out of my AL390 with the Hastings rifle choke tube. Uh, all right, guys, a little on the, we're using Remington 209 primers, and these are reloaded federal one ounce slug hulls that I got from, my brother gets for me from the, um, the uh, Broad River Prison, whenever they qualify, they shoot one-ounce slugs, and he brings me the the uh, the hulls. So that's what I loaded back. All right, Jake is going to shoot offhand this time. Uh, yeah. No, guys, I was telling you wrong. I don't want to mix that up. That is, uh, that is it's 28 grains mm -hmm. of SR4756. These should be pushing about 1,500 foot per second. I was grabbing that's the one-ounce, and enamel-coated as well. So let's show that again and see if we got enough light where you can see that zombie blood red coat. Oh man, that's all. The coolness I factor of that is just. Sun right here. No, the coolness factor is just off the chisane. That's it. All right. All right. Well, he's going to try these three offhand at 100 meters, guys, out of the AL390. And we'll see what happens. Be right back with the shot. All right, guys. This ain't easy. You see how far that that, uh, start that, that is down there. That's a long way. And, uh, and Thomas is going to try this offhand. Headshot. To the right of the head. Oh, I didn't see. Whew. Them things are hot, ain't they? Headshot. To the right of the head. Uh, I didn't see. There it is, right there. Right there, eight line. Eight Did it hit to the right of his head or in the head? In the head, right there. Uh, hit, yeah. That was second shot, and then uh, it aimed a little bit lower. Adjusted, okay, Last first shot. shot. First shot was a uh, his brains out the back of his head, little right on the uh, the second shot, and Justy, in the in the eight ring on the last one. That's all hand, guys. That's all hand. That's, now you know this kick. I don't. Well, I have guns. no meat between my shoulder and yeah. long, really. Well, see, I don't notice that stuff. I just shoot it. I'll be able to let you know how. All right, this is the seven eight ounce with twenty eight grains of the SR four seven five six. Josh is also going to shoot the AL390 because it's got that Hastings choke tube on it. That that rifle choke tube is almost six inches of a rifle choke tube in that AL390. So it seems to be just a little bit more accurate. Probably the only time you'll see me turn my head back, my hat backwards. Uh, yeah, well, it helps not clog up, or cloud up your freaking safety glasses so bad because it's not holding the heat right there on your face. All right. All right. Okay, hammer dog, we're rolling. Whenever you're ready, impress us. To the 
left, left shoulder. Didn't see it. Hit almost the same hole as the first shot. All right, killer diller. Hey, hammer dog, we're rolling. Whenever you're ready, impress us. To the left, left shoulder. Didn't see it. Hit almost the same hole as the first shot. Oh, where is Nick? No, that's not. There it is. Okay. It's right there. He got him. Second shot. He winged him first and last. He did. Got him second shot. Well, look at the hole for a second shot. <laughs> he put it into. The, he put. He put an offhand shot into ten ring <laughs> at hundred meters. Now, that's pretty daggum impressive. And two, it tore his right arm all the way off. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but then that off. was your last shot right there in the 10 yeah. ring. That is uh, that first, is awesome. that second probably shot. that's the second, second shot. shot. First, first, last. Okay, and that so was first, second, okay. and then last. Okay. Always told me I hit the shoulder. That's together. when that's it when I adjusted. Oh yeah, dead center mass. It's great shooting there, fellers. All right, I don't know what we're gonna try next. We'll decide that when we get back to the table. Flip a coin. Huh? All right. Two, the last two sequence two. coming up. These two guys, uh, yeah, put four? those, uh, yeah, all four of them. Y'all gonna do four shots each on these last ones, guys. We got we're gonna shoot eight more shots, and so they're gonna. Well, how'd you load yours so we can load them the same? That way, you know. I put the let Josh shoot first, and you just follow his shot, Jake, every time he shoots. Anytime y'all ready. I, I couldn't see after shot one. <laughs> How'd y'all do? Oh man, there's a bunch One, of them center three, mass. Three, four, five. five. There's five. Five out of eight? Yeah. Okay, we don't have any two hitting the same hole. I don't see any. Kind of. <laughs> those where we have a count. That one just hit on top of that, uh, on that wad. Yeah. And speaking of wads, the ballistic products PT. 1205 wide performed virtually flawlessly through this series of tests guys we were really happy with it the um, the wines design is just perfect for slugs they're perforated along the base and of the sides and the pedals actually shed for the most part whenever they leave the barrel you can see the impressions of the one ounce drive key slug here in this uh, in the base here and the 7 8 ounce in the base on this wide here 
the uh, the wads already formed, but none of them failed. They performed great. You can see the rifling where it engaged the sides of the wads here, and uh, it just is passed all the tests that we threw at her. So all in all, very excited about the performance and how these things work. So see you next time. All right, guys, this is Wade Rush, Bubba Roundtree Outdoors, Thomas the Hammer Rush, Josh Popcorn Brownham. We'll, uh, we'll be back with another one soon, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that. We sure as heck enjoyed making it. Bye-bye.